Now that we've learned how we can use CSS styling in a variety of ways, let's put it into action. So here's a basic page I have set up with a couple of H1 tags and a paragraph here ready uh, for our page. Now, I can do styling in a few different ways. First, I could try to add a style rule for all of the H1 tags. I want all of my H1 tags to be red. I can add my rule here so that both of my tags should turn red when I run the code, and they do. Now, I can also use classes. Classes will allow me to group a section of the text together so they have a similar rule, and that will allow me to do sections of my page different from one another. So if I want my code HS to be like the title of the page, and I want this section, learn to code, check out this, to go together as one class, I could create a class called dot code, how to write code. So I'm going to give it a font family, font dash family. I'm going to use courier as my font family. Oh, I'm running it, but nothing's happening. Ah, that's because I haven't actually added in my class equals here, my HTML tags, so that uh, the computer knows to follow that class direction. So H1 class equals, my class name is code. And I want both the H1 and the P to follow this class. And when I run it, beautiful. Now they have a different font family, so they actually look like a different uh, font than the one at the beginning. So the last way that we learned how to do styling was to style by ID. And the cool thing about styling by ID is you can make certain sections of your page, like one line of your page, really stick out. So since CodeHS is like my logo here, I want it to really stick out. I'm going to give it an ID. ID I'm going to name is hashtag logo because I feel like if it's the logo for code HS I should call it logo I'm going to set up my brackets for this I want the color to be blue since it's a logo I'm going to make my font size bigger so font size 80 px give it some cool font families um, I'll use Georgia Oops. as my font family and my font style, I will make it italic. They are all here, semicolons at the end. Now I just need to add my ID here. ID equals logo. Remember, since the ID is only going to be for one section of my code, I only need to put it in one place. And now, Code HS pops up. It is this much larger logo here at the top. Notice how the color of this logo has changed because it's following this rule. Even though it is an H1 tag, it's going to follow the logo rules because they are more specific. This section here, the learn to code, this is an H1. So it's still going to follow that because there's no extra color rule here inside its class. Now, if I added a color here in the class, green, it will then follow that rule, as well will the text here at the bottom, because it's all in the same class. You'll have an opportunity to play around with this coding and uh, take a look at the different sections, how you can change the classes, how you can change any of the properties for each section of the text as you're working today.